Hey guys and welcome to this video which has taken a grand total of 15 months of on and off Araxoring to compile. As you watch my first ever drop from Araxi, a web on my 6th ever kill, I'm just going to quickly share with you guys my experience from loadouts to epic drops and what you can expect from this boss rather than my usual ramble before the price check in all my other loot from videos. So why did I get 1000 kills you might ask? Well I really do enjoy this boss in the same way a lot of people enjoy Nexing for some reason, solo Nexing which I hate and I just love going back here whenever I get bored or can't find people to do group bossing with and a couple of weeks ago it was a Raxal week in the clan boss cup so that motivated me to get 1k done as well it's also been pretty lucky for me as you saw there plus later on I also got a web and a leg piece in the same kill which was unnoticed because back then there were no notifications for leg pieces sad face I'd say out of the 1k kills more than 900 were solos and under 100 of them were duos definitely don't do duos unless it's for fun or if you're really bored of soloing bottom path because the risks are just too great but believe me when I say it's fun because it really is especially when your partner keeps dying hint hint <laughs> but when you know what you're doing it is quite fun to be honest so what setup did I take and what do I recommend I'm just going to put ranged here because it is the most reliable style and it's obviously changed over time due to various updates and stuff but basically this is my current preferred loadout, obviously Ceranic. The Ring of Death is also invaluable and of course there is the age old question of Ascensions versus Nox. Personally I genuinely don't think there is enough of the difference, enough of a difference to say one is outright better than the other at Araxor and I constantly swap Nox for Ascensions but currently I'm using a Nox bow purely for the range and debo switch advantage. I guess the rest is stealth explanatory, maybe swap out the boots and the gloves for ascension grips or glaven boots and tracking gloves. And I prefer the reaper necklace here over the amulet of souls. You can check out my comparison video for the full analysis, not just at Araxi but everywhere else around Gelenor. This inventory I've tweaked quite a lot over the months and finally I believe I've optimized the brew to rock tail ratio with the few portents of restoration in the yak thrown in to help out at p4. As for my action bar, I used two of them, well actually one of them and a bit of the other one uh, to help me out. This action bar I use when the minions are around and this one I use when they aren't around. As you can see there's only one change which is sacrifice when the minions are around uh, but it is not as good as DPS as Fusca's Wrath but to be honest it doesn't really matter because I have my range ability book open as well most of the time and these days I use a Nihil even when the top path is open. I just start trying that out and it's working out pretty well but then if I do that I do take more brews than I have done uh, and I've also made two Raxo guides if you want to learn more so please check them out by clicking on the thumbnails on screen now. So how many kills do I get an hour? Well those of you that watch my streams and Raxo videos will know that I die a good once every four kills on a good day. That is a good day in which I get a lot of kills and don't die much and on a bad day it's one death per one kill. <laughs> but ignoring that for the moment, I reckon if you don't die, you can get an average of 6 kills an hour without tryharding or taking an eye hill. And I expect in the long term that, you, that you'll die once an hour on average. So if you're half decent, expect 5 kills an hour in the very long term. So including all the deaths and all the fails. No matter how good you are, you will have good days and you will have bad days and they'll balance out. So that's what, 200 hours for 1000 kills roughly. Which again can be anywhere between 150 hours and 250 hours depending on how competent you are. Uh, you You'll obviously get more competent as time goes on. If I feel like going for tons of kills I usually reset my enrage when my waxed sharpshooter runs out after 2 hours which is 12 or 13 kills or 240 to 260% enrage. Uh, usually it's like 10 kills because I die so much but if I have a good day uh, I'll be 12 or 13 kills but I reset it at 240 to 260% not because I can't do 300% but because it's just too risky if you're just uh, going for the money rather than for the fame or the glory of getting a 300% enrage kill. I'll use these numbers to give you the cash per hour once I sell off the loot but finally here are the legs and hilts I've got so seven hilts in 1000 kills with just one fang which I'm relieved about but the drop rate is a bit low I'd expect eight or nine hilts in 1000 and a nice round 25 leg pieces in 1000 kills which gives a drop rate of one in 40 per leg piece or one in 125 per full leg because I made eight legs with an extra piece left over I'm not one of those people that just camp the middle pass just because it's easy I've never had more than two of any leg piece and I just make them as soon as I can really so yeah that's it time to check out the prices of the loot but quickly before that I just like to say that no I didn't actually get the base pet within 1k kills despite re-rolling around 20% of all my drops but I just got it this morning actually at around my 1070th kill so I'll let the live commentary do the talking these nuts <laughs> got <he. laughs> 
Tra la 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 la. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. I just felt like I should troll you guys because Araxi trolled me so much. So yeah, that's nice logic, isn't it? That's the pros logic. Anyway, this is the loot I got. Before you start judging, let me explain myself. So the top row, the top row of my loot inventory, are the drops I rerolled quite a lot. In fact. Uh, the first few, these three for example, Eulogs, Battle Staves and Dwarf Weed Seeds, and also the Adamant and uh, Adamant Ore and Coal, I rerolled a lot uh, because whenever I've had the urge to reroll, I never just randomly do it. I do it based on the drop, uh, how much it's worth. So, um, for example, these Dwarf Weed Seeds are probably the worst drop you can get from Araxi. Uh, and I always, well, most of the time I rerolled when I got greens or gold charms, which is why I haven't included them in my overall uh, loot, uh, and sometimes crimsons as well. So I'd expect crimsons and blues to be around a one to one ratio uh, if I didn't reroll the crimsons, but you know, I never rerolled the blues because they're worth too much. And uh, I'd just like to say these three items here I actually am not sure about because the ceramic scales, I just make ceramic with um, as soon as my ceramic degrades and the onyxes of course I use them up all the time because I die so much uh, so I have no idea about the onyxes but let's assume it's a hundred onyxes or so and I'll add that onto the pre PC when we get there and the pheromones actually are uh, they only got released after my 350th kill or so so I haven't got as many as you as you would get if you started your 1k kills now uh, plus I used up around 5 just to reset my enrage, I didn't reset it too many times uh, I don't camp it for hours for like 10 hours a day or anything like that I just uh, reset it once a while um, and Hydrix Bolt Tips released very late just, just, just this July I think they were released into the game for Araxi's drop table so I haven't got many at all of those uh, but you will get a lot more Hydrix Bolt Tips trust me and uh, yeah you can I'll just sell off the normal drops, not their legs, because then we can figure out how much money you can make per hour uh, without being lucky with the legs. So let me sell that off first and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, before I sell it, let me just say I didn't keep track of the brews, restores and overload drops because the overloads I converted to supreme overloads this double XP weekend and the brews and restores obviously I use them up all the time so I didn't keep track of those either. I hope that it doesn't matter too much. Uh, Alright, these are the last three. 75 mil from Onyx Bolts. Nice. 34 mil from Magic Logs. Sorry, Magic Seeds and 40 mil from Magic Logs. And I don't think it's a good idea to guess how many Onyxes I got because it could vary a lot. So I'm not going to do that. In fact, we just assume you used up all your onyxes uh, on your ring of death because that's probably likely. You're probably going to use up all your onyxes on your ring of death. Wait a minute. If you used up all the onyxes that you got, you used up 100 onyxes in 1k Raxi kills, one onyx covers for 3.33 kills. So that means you died 333 times in 1k kills. That's one death in every three kills. I think that's really bad even for me that is really really bad <laughs> okay let me just include all the value of the 100 onyxes in the price check so that's 520 mil in 1k kills or 520k per kill from the normal drops now if we add the other drops everything in there uh, let me remove all of this so withdraw 300 uh, okay 1337 mil all right Okay, let's put it all in. So that's 1.8 bill. Now, as I said, if you add 170 mil from the onyxes, that is exactly two bill. That is exactly two bill in one k araxi kills. That's two mil per araxi kill. Pretty crazy, two mil per araxi kill, guys. If you kill five araxi an hour, like I talked about earlier, including deaths, that is what 10 mil exactly 10 mil per hour exactly 10 mil per hour that is insane but this isn't including deaths and repair costs and overloads of course so if you include all that it's going to be different i got an extra leg piece as well so if you include that leg piece that's worth one third of a leg a leg is 160 mil so that's 53 mil that is 2.05 bill that's almost max cash in one k kills at today's prices 
I'm actually not going to be selling these and Nox staves or any of the Nox weapons quickly because then I'll miss out on a lot of profit so I'm going to put them to sell overnight or something but I believe the price check that you see here is very accurate because I had one of each already but I had to buy two Nox bows and two Nox staffs back just for this video so I hope you appreciate that I'll sell them back overnight make some profits when you probably get 1k kills if you're starting now, hope this motivates you by the way to do it, but if you're starting now and you get 1k, it'll probably change a lot. Um, Araxes, I used to make the most profit uh, a few months ago and then it dropped drastically and then Noxbow has risen now massively, so it varies a lot. Uh, so when you do it, it might, make, it might be different. Back in my day actually, um, I did sell some of the legs for a lot more so I could have, I, the actual profit I personally got is around 400 mil more than what I am showing here and also if you don't re-roll any of the drops of course you're going to get a lot more profit if you die less it's, it's going to max, be maximized even more so those are all things to consider but that is pretty much it guys, I really hope you enjoyed uh, I really hope all this was worth it, it took me a lot of hassle to buy these uh, not staves, I had to get money back from some of my friends who lo lent me money thanks to all the people that um, let me buy Serenix scales off them because I didn't have them but overall it's been a very successful 1k kills except for the fact that I haven't got base bet so I'll be going back to that now go get the base bet quickly hopefully before 2k kills so that I don't, I don't have to waste my life away at Araxor but I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching guys look at our other Araxor vids on our channel as you can see on screen now and uh, I'll be off streaming. Hope you tune into our streams and uh, yeah.